Hello and welcome to a new episode of Man Cave Printing. In today's episode I want to guide you through the process of installing Octoprint on a Raspberry Pi. I want to show you this now because my old Raspberry Pi decided to break on the weekend. So I have to do it again and maybe some of you need to see this to get confident enough to do this themselves. So you can see the Octoprint website. Before we take a closer look here, I want to talk about what we need to set up Octoprint for our printer. Need some hardware. So we need a Raspberry Pi 3B or up. This is the first one. So for example, like this one, this is the newest model. Um, but I got a Raspberry Pi 3B. I got it used for like 20 euros. So you can save a lot of money. Also, what you need is an SD card where you put your Octoprint on and also all the prints you upload and maybe the time lapses you want to make. So this costs about 10 bucks, I think, 10 to 15 bucks if you want a bigger one, but 64 gigabytes is really enough. I used this over a year before and never had any issues with too less disk image. So talking about the Raspberry, we need a power supply. This is not included in the Raspberry. So I take the original one. I ordered one some days ago for 10 euros. So it wasn't that expensive. I think it was a warehouse deal. And last but not least, I already said time lapses. And also you want to um, watch your prints if they are doing good or if you have to take action. Therefore you need a camera. There are two possibilities of camera. Either you use an AutoCam, so a camera specially for the uh, Raspberry Pi, or the other possibility is to use some ordinary webcam. But I, I go with the Raspberry camera so this costs around 10 bucks and what you have to have in mind when buying this, you have to print some kind of arm that holds the camera in position and also some kind of enclosure where you can put it into. But that's not a huge deal because you can find many, many uh, different options on Thingiverse. So to sum this up, I think we need around 50 to 60 euros in the best case to set up our Octoprint. And maybe if you have a big heart, you can also donate some money to the maker of Octoprint. And so they get, so you show them you appreciate their work. Now to the install process for Octoprint. In the first step, we need to download the newest image. So let's download the Octopi 0.18.0. .0. So this takes a moment to download. Also, while this is downloading, we can take a close look on just some software we also need. This is called Balena Etcher. With this, we flash our Octopi firmware on the Raspberry to set up our system. Also, we download this here. I already installed it last time I did my setup, so I don't have to do it again. After we download it and unzip the file from Octoprint, we can use Berlina Etcher. We have to flash from a file. We go to our downloads and after that we take our image. So. After that, we select our storage. This is our 64 gigs uh, SD card. We select this and after that we click on flash and have to we wait some minutes till it's done and after that we can give it a try. After the flash is done, we have to do some minor changes to the Octopi TXT file in order to use our camera. I already changed the resolution to Full HD. 
So here you can put in whatever your camera is able to do and also maybe you have to try out which frame rate fits the best for your camera and setup. Also down here we have to change these two lines to this. So everything works fine. And also if you want to use Wi-Fi with the Raspberry Pi, you got to go to the Octopi WPA TXT file when you're using a WPA or WPA2 secured Wi-Fi network or router. You just have to put your SSID in here, your password in here and save this file, also the Octopi file. And after that, just insert it in the Raspberry Pi and you're ready to go. You get to the setup wizard, you just go this through. We have no backup we can play on. We want to give it a username. So I go with Mancave printing. And also we need to do a password. And so I use my old password. We go on with the anonymous tracking. So I think I'm gonna activate it, but you have to know for yourself. So now we have to uh, decide whether we want an online check or not. I'm gonna activate it. And so if we want a plugin blacklist, um, so I think I go with it just to be sure everything works just fine. And after that, we have to uh, insert our printer information. So I got an Ender 5. We got a rectangular print bed. We got a heated bed. We got no heated chamber. We go with 225 by 225 by 300 millimeters. And our axis, we have to do our maximum speed and feed rate for the axis. The way to get your maximum feed rate is to look it up in your Marlin. You maybe have programmed it yourself or otherwise if you use a stock printer you can find the data online. And here's the maximum feed rate. Uh, multiply it by 60 to get our feed rate in millimeter per minute. Now to the hot end and the extruder, we got a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and one extruder. So we go on. Um, just some informational things. So we close this and we are ready to start. Now I don't have my printer connected by now, but that's not important. Uh, one important feature you might have to know is how you install some plugins. You go to the Octoprint settings, go to the plugin manager, and here you see some special plugins. Also, you can look uh, plugins up here, like the very famous Octolabs. So we have to go on more, and then a new window opens, and we have to put it in again and search for Octolabs. We press on install and Octoprint does the rest of the operation. You have to wait till it says it's done and sometimes you have to reboot your Octoprint setup. But that's it. As you can see it's downloading and installing and after that I think we have to restart and after that it's ready to use. It's the same with all other plugins. You just click on install and after that you reboot and it's ready to use. That's pretty it to install Octoprint and also some plugins. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to know how to use the Octoprint web interface, let me know in the comments and I will do another video about that. See you next time. Goodbye.